welcome to the project demonstration of solar power modernization of agriculture for crop protection using iot in this project we are using seven sensors and charging circuit transformer solar panel servo motor and 12 volts 1 amp battery lcd display water motor pump buzzer and esp32 ESP8266 LCD display relay Arduino Uno board and track PCB and also using bridge rectifier here we can see the bridge rectifier so we are providing the power supply through this power cable here we can see so it will take 230 volts of AC supply and it will be given to this bridge rectifier it will step down up to 5 volts of AC then 5 volts of AC will be converted into 5 volts of DC that DC power supply will be given to this track VCB track VCB will divide the power DC 5 volts power equally to the all components like a sensor, servo motors and LCD display buzzer like this so let we will see the demonstration So first of all we need to on our oxford so oxford name should be proid 6341 and password should be 129 then only this esp32 will be connected to this phone here we can see one device is connected which means we are providing the network to this esp8266 so when we give the network through this oxford it will give the data to that give the data to the thing speak so it will see the each sensor working so higher sensor will be work like a whenever animal come to the near the crop it will detect the animal using this IR sensor when it detected here we can see animal detected in this way this IR sensor will be works and also here we can see uh, air sensor it will check the air quality so if I produce some gas near to this air So here we can see the ppm values 1920 in this way this air quality sensor will be works and also here we can see the humidity thing here also we can see the humidity values 58 percent and also it is increasing so here we can see the ir sensor so ir sensor main work is uh, so fire sensor so i fire sensor main work is it will detect the fire So here we can see when fire is detected so it will detected it will give in the signal to the microcontroller so it will give the buzzer alert and also here we can see the rain uh, rain sensor when rain is detected then automatically it will be closed solar panel will be closed and also and also we here we can see soil moisture sensor so normally if it is dry the motor will be on and also relay is in on condition when the water it will detect the water it will give the signal to the microcontroller then automatically motor will be stop in this way this project will be works and the all parameters and all sensors values will be displayed on this LCD display and also we are providing the power supply to this battery so using the solar panel and also transformer so solar panel will be generate the signal uh, sorry generate the power through sunlight so that 
power will be given to this charging circuit here we can see the charging circuit through that one we can charge the battery and also we can charge the battery using the electricity power here we can see we are pro providing 230 volts of ac to this transformer it will step down up to 12 volts that 12 volts of ac will be given to this charging circuit then charging circuit consistence of rectifier that rectifier will convert 12 volts of ac into 12 volts of dc so i am replacing the solar supply to to the transformer supply so now we, we can see the indicate light indication which means battery is charging so here we can see the voltage sensor so voltage sensor is connected to this battery that voltage value will be given to the microcontroller through microcontroller we can see the voltage values So here is showing the voltage values. Is the voltage values? Let we see the thing speak data. So here we can see thing speak. So it is showing humidity values, temperature values, and air quality values, moisture sensor values, and rain sensor values, and voltage sensor values. And also we can see the fire values also so if fire is detected so it will give you the values through this graph so now here uh, after getting this data if you want to get the fresh data before erasing the old data uh, you can download that for that purpose data import exports download the data so it will be downloaded in excel sheet format so we can access that just click on that we can uh, open that in excel sheet pass right so we can see that if you have the ms excel sheet you can open this in excel format so this consists of date and time and the next how many samples still not collected 1 2 3 4 5 6 you can see that and the next field humidity and uh, temperature and moisture level, rain sensors so like this data will be uploaded into the ThingSpeak Cloud platform directly. So this data can be accessed from anywhere in the world. And next, after we have uh, took this backup download, now you can erase that. For that, go to channel settings, and uh, in that, clear channel. Don't uh, delete or don't do any other things. Only clear channel. After clearing the channel. To access the live data, go to private view. Now you can see the old data got erased and the new data just now arrived. So in this point, it will see the pin connection of the each sensor. So voltage sensor is connected to the A0 and servo motor is connected to 11th pin and dh double one sensor, humidity sensor will be connected to 10th pin and air quality sensor will be connected to A1 and the relay the relay or input will be connected to 12 pin and rain sensor input is connected to the a2 and a buzzer here we can see the buzzer so the buzzer will be connected to 13th pin and the soil sensor will be connected to uh, a3 and ir sensor is connected to a4 fire sensor is connected connected to a5 and esp 266 pins are connected to 899 and LCD, LCD these, these connections are connected to 2 to 7.